All right. Let her rip. First question I'd like to ask you, Mitchell, what made uh, Williams uh, – was Williams difficult for you guys to hit today or – How would you evaluate his performance? Well, I, I wouldn't say he had his best stuff tonight, but he's such a top-tier pitcher that he pitches great when he doesn't have his best stuff. So he did well locating his fastballs and, and working his off-speed to most of our guys. And you know, he he's got good arm action on it, so the ball's naturally going to have sink uh, and run into the right-handed batters. And you know. I'd say almost everybody in our team chopped one in front of the plate. You know, his, his ball has a lot of movement, so, so you know, just naturally, we're chopping balls into the ground, and and some people made an adjustment, some people didn't. Coach Furman, you mentioned that you guys have been having some trouble bunting today. We had we we bunted terribly today. We were terrible at bunting. And, uh, and I know Coach Hibbets and Coach Hockamy are very upset about that. They're, they work really hard on bunting. And, and uh, the last bunt, the young man we told, he had bunted to third earlier when he should have bunted to first. And uh, we told him, hey, get, get square up early and bunt below your hands. So what I saw today with three years, which is very uncharacteristic by us, and uh, the bunting, the things that I saw, the mistakes I saw, were by people who got emotional about the moment. Brand new to regional play. And, the, and sometimes the ball seems to find the new guys in regional play. So the moment got big for them. Jared Hawley's an outstanding shortstop and, and done some great things for us all year long. And that was totally uncharacteristic of him. But it was the excitement of being in his first regional as a freshman got to him. Chase Harris, outstanding baseball player. He gets emotional a lot. He got emotional about his situations twice, and, and he made the two mistakes with the bunts, and, and Josh Molina's made the other mistake. But it's a, being a veteran ball club in a veteran situation is important, and we have tons of veterans. Unfortunately for us, the guys who weren't veterans were in a position when that happened. Does that make sense? Yeah. How do you go forward with those fellows? Well, uh, hopefully they can calm down and, and make it feel like that, you know it's 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 another ball game. It's it's uh, 90 feet. I saw I marked it off for them from home plate to first base here, just like it is in Albuquerque, and Fresno, and San Diego, and all those places we play. But the, they're emotional people, and they get emotional. And when you get emotional, you don't execute well. Did you kind of notice that, or was there something you noticed maybe? The game, the I, I made a point. Back. I made a point to, and I've done this in the last four regionals. I've made a point to go to the kids that are new to a regional and say, "Look, I don't need you to get emotional. I need you to, to not try too hard. I need you to just execute the game. Keep it simple. If all of us execute the game, then we'll be fine." The difference tonight in the ball game is three errors. That's the difference in the ball game. Well, I mean, first of all, I was a part of the three errors, so I mean, you know, you can't really transfer blame to other people. I wasn't, I didn't have my best stuff tonight either. I didn't locate as well as I usually do, and um, you know, the bottom line is, you know, we just played hard. You know, we got a little emotional, and we have a couple things to fix, and you know, we'll come back tomorrow and try and fix it. What was what pitchers were working for you? Uh, when I was locating the fastball. Um, you know, the changeup got me out of a couple, a couple jams, uh, and the slider as well. I mean, yes, yes, changeup and the fastball. It was a little of each. We hit a lot of balls hard with men in scoring position that went right at somebody too. Third base, third baseman got a couple of line drives, made some great plays on it, and uh, I thought Haggerty's ball hitting the gap was going to go to the wall and hung up. Great, great jump by the left fielder from Arizona State. And Trevor, I thought Trevor pitched very well. I mean, he had four walks, which I thought, and he only had four walks. I think both these young men competed on the mound. The tight zone, a very tight zone. What did you hit? What pitch did you hit for 
Uh, that was a fastball. 3-1 count. Left it up a little bit. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Well, I yeah, I, you know what? It's a game. It's it's a game of inches, and and uh, the one thing that Arizona State has that I think is really really good on their behalf is they're very solid defensively in the infield and make tough plays routine. They they made some really really good plays. The ball that all Britain chopped in the hole on the right side was a tough play, and that second baseman went a long way. And uh, that changes the ball game for us. The line drive down the third baseline that, that all Britain hit again. Third baseman made an adjustment, saw the, looked in the glove, I saw him, and he made a couple of quick shuffles to his right and then laid out and stopped the ball going down the line with a guy on second. So the infield play by Arizona State is uh, pretty good, really good, really good. And I know our infield coach, Coach Hockamy, is working hard on getting us that way too. Thank you. Thank you.